Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you my sewing plans for capsule wardrobe this year. So some of you already know that I have been chatting about and interested in sewing some pieces for my capsule wardrobe and getting my sewing machine out of retirement and finding some really great patterns and using beautiful fabrics to create timeless pieces that I can recreate then in lots of different fabrics. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the two patterns that I have chosen. I'm really excited about these patterns. I think they're so beautiful, really versatile, and suit loads of different body shapes. So I'm excited to share them with you and see what you think. And yeah, let's get straight into it. So pattern number one is the Ogden Cami by True Bias. This is such a popular pattern. I've seen it everywhere on Instagram. Loads of people have sewn it. And I think the reason for that is because it's so simple. The construction is, baby's coffee. <laughs> the construction is really simple with the Ogden Cami. It's pretty much no, no um, structure to it. So there's no uh, darts or anything like that. Um, just a simple front and back and then little skinny um, shoulder straps. So very simple to sew. It would work really well in a floaty lighter weight fabric because it does slightly come out like this. So it's a little bit more sort of A-line shape. It sort of hits the hip area so it would work well with a higher waisted trousers or tucked into a higher waisted skirt which is I think how I would wear it. Um, but I also think it could work quite well in a more structured cotton and linen. So I am going to try that out because those would be my fabrics of choice. Also, a woven cotton or linen would be a lot easier to sew. The slippy fabrics can move around a bit on your cutting board when you're cutting out the pattern, plus when you're sewing it is a little bit more trickier, but it's a nice small pattern so it would be good for a beginner and I just think anyone could sew this. So I'm really excited to get going on the Ogden Cami. Because my capsule wardrobe has a lot of black and um, white and really boring colours, I probably will look at making this in black to start with. If that works, I'd love to make it in white and maybe a pretty pattern as well. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I think this time around, having sewn things in the past and not worn them because they're being too brightly coloured or just don't fit into my capsule wardrobe. This time, the whole point is to make things that are really classic, maybe a little bit boring in some ways, but are going to work with loads of different um, types of clothes and all the different colors in my capsule wardrobe. The baby's just come in, so I'm gonna have to grab him because he's aiming for the camera. <sighs> so <laughs> we've got a little helper for the second part of this video. I'll just give him a book to look at. <laughs> Hopefully he won't be too distracting or noisy. Um, so pattern number two is the Hinterland dress by So Liberated. And the minute I saw this dress, I knew that I wanted it to be in my wardrobe. It, again, it's so simple. It's um, a little bodice. I'll put a picture in. It's a little bodice with a button placket down the front, kind of high-waisted, and then a gathered long skirt attached. And what I love about this is that you can do so many things with it. You can add sleeves, have short sleeves, long sleeves, or have it sleeveless. You can take the button placket out, or you can extend the button placket all the way down to the end of the hem. You can obviously make the skirt into a mini length, or midi, or full length. Um, so, it really is so versatile. It's going to work really well in a heavier, sort of medium weight fabric like chambray, woven cottons, printed Indian cottons, and linen. So this is just going to look incredible in any good quality fabric. It's also, I've seen it made in tensile twill, I think, and also silk noir, and it looks so good. And I definitely want to get used to making it so that come autumn I could make it in some lovely warm shades of terracotta and maybe dark green <laughs> and dark green as well. So yes, I'm really, really excited about these two patterns. I'm gonna link them below and I'm going to start making them up and sharing that process over on my Facebook group, which is called Nature and Nourish. But I will also have some more videos in this series up here on YouTube as well. Um, and I think that was pretty much it. I did want to show you actually the patterns um, that I got printed 
Um, so give me a second. So the last thing I wanted to mention before I go is printing the patterns. So I purchased my patterns as PDF downloads, but this time around I treated myself and I got them printed. And this is so great because the patterns come out in these big sort of like packs of paper. And then you just need to select your size and then cut them out. Um, I got these done by printyourpattern.com, which I'll link below. And it costs about seven pounds per pattern. You might find a cheaper alternative if you just go to a print or copy shop. But um, that was very easy to do online and it arrived very quickly. And yes, it just saves you from printing. So if you go and purchase a PDF pattern, you'll usually be given two files. One, which is a print at home PDF, which comes out in sheets, A4 sheets. And the second is the copy shop version on A0 paper. And that's what I got done. Um, and it's just a lot easier than sticking and pasting. It just takes a whole um, process out of the, the sort of sewing process. So I find that really great. The Ogden Cami, to be honest, wouldn't be so difficult to print out at home. So if you're looking just to start somewhere simple, I would recommend that pattern. The Hinterland, though, on the other side of the spectrum has got a big skirt. Easy to sew, very simple, but a lot of sheets to stick together. So I would recommend that you actually just get that printed at a copy shop or you buy the actual printed pattern. So that's it for today. Um, I hope the baby wasn't too distracting, I'm currently holding his feet, <laughs> um, but that's just life at the moment. Every time I sit down to do one of these more slightly structured videos, it's just really difficult with a toddler who wants to pull at the camera and all that kind of thing, but I hope you don't mind too much. And I hope you're excited to follow along on this capsule wardrobe sewing challenge as well. Um, if you want to join in, I'd love to know in your in the comments below what patterns you would like to be making or what patterns you will be making this year, uh, what colours are in your capsule wardrobe, all that kind of stuff. And do head over to the Facebook group, it's called Nature and Nourish, it's all about living a slow natural lifestyle. So I'll link that below as well. So I will see you in my next video. Bye!